Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Ever Crisis video where we're going to be tackling the Battle Tower. Now, this is going to be the first of many videos that I'm going to be uploading to the channel. I am taking the content for Ever Crisis in, in a bit of a different route compared to some of, some of the other videos that are out there currently. So mostly for myself, I'm going to be focusing on gameplay. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on talking about banners that are going to be coming out uh, later on in the future whenever they do start coming out and anything else that I feel like I need to go over when it comes to this game because like for me myself my my initial thoughts on how I wanted to start off this game was to basically grind as much as I can to kind of get ahead of everybody else or at least try to and uh, be able to pick up on a couple things learn as much as I can sort of that way whenever I start dropping uh like informational like guides or knowledge to you guys i want to make sure that i am 100 percent like very confident in what i will be saying so because of that i have been focusing on trying to uh increase my power level work on three specific characters and just try to unlock as much as i can as quickly as i can so in this video we're going to be knocking out the first 20 floors of the battle tower now more than likely because of how high my power level is at the moment uh, i am i can easily auto through all of these fights more than likely I, I i do not know i have not seen anything related to the battle tower whatsoever so i'm not a thousand percent sure on that but we'll find out at, by the time we finish the first 20 floors more than likely as i start progressing even more as i start increasing my power level even more there's a good possibility where I will probably actually have to like manually choose whatever it is that, that I want to equip to my characters and then actually pot potentially manually uh, act during the fight. So we'll see how things go. But as of right now, we're going to focus on the 20 floors. I've already done the first floor. Uh, so we're going to focus on the first 20 floors of the battle tower. So we're going to stop right after we are done with floor 20 so uh let me know what you guys think hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and uh let's see if uh let's see if we can knock this out i'm gonna be using the recommended party i know it's not the best thing because half the time uh it doesn't always choose the right setups but i mean we we're at a very high power level i don't really think that matters whatsoever uh, at the moment so We'll see, we'll see how things go, but uh, as this starts playing out, I do want to go ahead and at least talk about uh, how th how I've been enjoying the game at the moment. Uh, just uh, honestly, like it's uh, like I've always been a fan of uh, FF7, like Final Fantasy 7 was, was my first Final Fantasy. So it was a game that I was very excited about. I was very happy that I, that I did manage to get into the closed beta because that did give me an advantage on um, being able to uh, get a being able to uh, f get familiar with uh, all of the um, with all of like the mechanics and everything uh, for this game. Learn about the weapons. Learn about uh, everything that I feel like uh, is important within this game, and uh, like the game is, it, it it can definitely be a grind fest. Like there is a lot to grind in this game, but so far, uh, Square Enix has been throwing us with a lot of free goodies uh, because of the fact that like either we met, uh, it's either we had met the required amount of pre-registrations, we have been getting a crap ton, ton of downloads. I think we're at like what three mil or something like that three plus mil uh and a bunch of other things as well and like so far like like gameplay wise like it's it's very simple it's not hard to to understand and, th and this is coming from a guy who is extremely picky when it comes to uh when it comes to playing gacha games like i am very picky uh when it comes to like uh understanding the mechanics of, of a game trying to to get somewhat of an idea as to what it is that i am doing so on and so forth like I, I, I tend to be very picky, and I think one of the reasons is uh, because like I want something that is simple, easy to understand, not something that I actually have to look up, which so far I have not gotten to that point where I feel like I need to look up something unless it's like information on a weapon, then I, then I, can, I, could, I could look that up. Like that's not something that would, I guess make me be like oh okay like if i'm gonna continue doing this then yeah, this is probably not gonna be the game that i want to play like it's nothing like that like like if like weapon information like i can't 
I can understand like Googling or checking out like in game as well. You can also find some details on that. And, uh, and, and the great thing about it is that like uh, it, it just a, a lot of these weapons do have a lot of different mechanics well not mechanics but like it, they do have a lot of different uh things a lot of different benefits that you can actually gain out of it uh it, and i guess it really just depends on like what it is that you need for said specific fight which is why i feel i feel like later down the line i will probably have to manually um uh click or, or manually equip the uh the weapons materia so on and so forth uh to the characters uh because uh I want to make sure that I'm actually able to win the fight without having any trouble whatsoever. Now, now, have I lost in any of the content that I've been grinding? Oh, yeah. There have been times where I've accidentally uh, uh, hit the auto button and everything's just straight manual. And I didn't even realize it. And, and then I died. I'm like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> I went into that situation so many times. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I fat fingered the screen where I don't want to fat finger it. <laughs> so, that, that that's definitely happened to me a couple times. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so, m being able to understand this game, at least for myself, doesn't feel that overwhelming, and especially uh, as a player who does play other, uh, other gacha games, like, I, I play Opera Omnia, I play, uh, Honkai Star Rail, that, the, being able to put this into, like, my busy schedule is not hard whatsoever, so, uh, yeah, so, Gameplay wise, mechanic wise, and all that good stuff, it's it, at least in my opinion, it is very simple. Feel free to let me know what you guys think about that uh, in the comments below. But uh, I, I do think that everything is pretty self explanatory co compared to like other gacha games where like they try to explain it to you, but it's like it's it's not the best explanation <laughs> whatsoever. And like uh, there, there are definitely a few games, I think, uh, even uh, I know Opera Omnia, uh, they, they do their best to try to explain things, but sometimes their explanations are not the best. And so because of that, uh, many players tend to get confused and they, ha they actually have to Google stuff. They actually have to Google, like, what does this mean? Uh, so on and so forth. So, and so I get that. And thankfully, like with this game, the explanation, I, I, I do think is actually pretty, uh, pretty good. Um, let's see here. Uh, I've already mentioned the whole grinding thing. Like, this game can can definitely be very, very grindy. Uh, I have actually, since the game has dropped, I have literally non-stop been grinding my butt off in trying to uh, to get ahead uh, of everybody else. And uh, and what else? Uh, I've actually, uh, like, been putting off, like, playing uh, my other gacha games, or at least, like, doing the dailies at the minimum, uh, because I've been wanting to mostly focus on this game. So, uh... Yeah, so this game definitely uh, grindy. Now, what do I think about the future of this game? It really depends on like how they want to go about it because like it's pretty obvious that they are going to be following the storyline for Final Fantasy VII and all of the uh, other games related to to uh, Final Fantasy VII. Like you got Crisis Core, you got First Soldier. Uh, obviously, most people. More, most people are definitely going to be curious as to what's going on with First Soldier because they're going to be learning uh, more things about uh, Sephiroth when he was younger. Younger, So uh, that's going to be uh, probably one of the more primary ones. But I could definitely see this game potentially have some type of collabs in the future. Um, it, I don't know how picky Square Enix is going to be. Uh, about potential collabs, but like seeing as how uh, we that, like, I, I do feel like collaborations with like other uh, other games or other web whatever collaborations they want to do, I could definitely see them being a, a big possibility. Now I know that this game is solely focused on uh, on Final Fantasy VII, but I do feel like if they really wanted to push the brown boundaries for uh, for this game, I can see them potentially, uh, or I can I can hope. That they could possibly, uh, maybe even bring in some other characters from other Final Fantasies. I think that would actually be a very good idea. Um, it would it be hard to try to work it in? Uh, yeah, it would be. I mean, obviously, for like the main story, like if you're trying to get uh, unlock all of the, all of the uh, free, not free, but all of the goodies that you get whenever you complete the missions for set for set quest. Then uh, I can understand that. Yeah, you got to focus on using uh, said characters that is meant for that quest. Uh, but but other like outside of that, like maybe even Battle Tower, any future events they want to throw at us, 
uh, if they ever decide to consider actually bringing in other characters from f other Final Fantasies, I feel like that could potentially uh, 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 attract uh, a bigger player base. So, because of course not everybody's going to be a fan of Final Fantasy VII, that's perfectly understandable. I mean, I myself, uh, so far with, a, with all of the Final Fantasies that I have been playing, I mean, I've not really... I mean, I, I can't really complain about any other other Final Fantasy so far that I've played. So, um, uh, yeah, uh, the possibilities is definitely there. But we'll see what Square Enix decides to do. Like, we'll see how well received this was from from the community to Square Enix. Uh, hopefully, if they really, like I said, if they really want to push the boundaries and maybe potentially expand this game uh, with uh, like other. With uh, with collaboration collaborations, um, or other Final Fantasies, then I do feel like this game could actually potentially uh, last a, a good amount of time. But we'll, we'll see. Uh, like Square Enix from previous mobile games has definitely made their mistakes, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, with those previous mistakes and with this brand new uh, Gacha game that they have released, uh, hopefully they can. Um, uh, make this one a uh, a good one, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see how uh, how things progress. But uh, overall, though, uh, I don't really have too many. I don't. I hardly don't have much cons. The only con that I will say that does does tend to get a little bit annoying uh, is the, the whole pop ups with uh, like with uh, the ads. Like, well, pop ups for the in game purchases purchases that you can actually gain. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so those pop-ups, uh, yeah, I mean, value-wise, some of them are pretty good. Some of them are kind of like, eh, I don't really want to. But uh, the the whole, like, trying to, like, push everybody, which I understand from a business standpoint, you're trying to uh, to make the most out of, uh, uh, out of uh, oh, from your players. Uh, that That is understandable. But I feel like the whole, like, pop-ups pop-ups after like let's say like you level up a weapon you uh level cap uh yeah level or uh, uncap it level cap or whatever it is whatever it is that you're doing that that makes them want to uh throw up an ad like hey you should buy this for this amount is uh I, I, at the beginning it wasn't that bad but now it's like slightly annoying but that's really the only biggest con that I have at the moment. Just because, uh, and I and I do say this because, like, back in the closed beta, there were a good amount of issues, especially uh, related around stamina, which I'm so glad that they fixed. Um, let's see, Crisis Dungeon's been unlocked. These dungeons have a higher difficulty than Criterion Dungeon. Ooh, lovely! More content. Um, well, speak of the devil. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just like stuff like this. It's just like I I get it. Like you're trying to get people to spend understandable at the same time it's just like i want to keep playing bro quit popping up with these freaking pop-ups <laughs> but that, that that's really like the only con that i can think about the moment so but yeah no uh i'm curious to see what you guys think for those who are playing ever crisis uh let me know your overall thoughts on your experiences so far as i'm recording this video the game has already been out for like about what two three days and uh like i said i've been Grinding the hell out of it, man. Like, I really, really have. I'm trying to get ahead as quickly as possible, especially because, like, uh, I think the highest power level I have seen, and anybody can correct me if you've seen anything larger, but I think I've seen, like, up to, like, maybe 170, 170k or 180k. So I am nowhere close to that. I'm, like, one third uh, away from that. So hopefully, uh, here in the next week or so, I'm able to get past 100k. Uh, I'll be building up more characters. So, so some of you guys may be wondering as to why I'm, I'm just focusing on the OG uh, Barrett, Cloud, and Tifa team. Uh, it's just the, the, the team that I just went with. I didn't really consider uh, switching in anybody else. Uh, Weapons-wise, uh, I do have a very good amount of 5 stars. Uh, I do have multiple dupes, especially for Barrett, man. I, I can't tell you how many times I've gotten his uh, featured uh, weapon from the banner that is currently on right now. I think he's at uh, Red 2. At the moment, so, uh, but uh, for Aerith, I, I know Fairy Stars. What was it? Fairy Star? No, Fairy Tail. Excuse me. Fairy Stars, Fairy Tail. one or two. Um, I know that that is a popular weapon for for Aerith, so I have not gotten that yet, and hopefully at some point I'll be able to get that uh, in the future. Uh, Zach, I have multiple weapons. Cloud, same. Tifa just started getting multiple five stars for her. 
Uh, when it comes to the trio from uh, First Soldier, I do have some weapons for them, but uh, nothing crazy at the moment. So, they, like, this is my main team. The trio from First Soldier is my second team. And then uh, hopefully uh, I can, or not hopefully, but, but sooner or later, I will go ahead and start working on Zack, Aerith, and uh, uh, Naniki, or Red 13, however it is you go. Whatever name you go by uh, for, for him. Uh, which... Funny enough, <laughs> Red 13, I have yet to get a single 5 star for Red 13. I've only got gotten uh, like 4 stars at the most. I don't, I don't know what's the deal. Uh, I guess uh, they don't want me to build them. But I, I will level them up regardless though. But uh, yeah, big bummer that I've not been able to unlock. Or not unlock, but uh, be able to pull any of, on any of his 5 stars. But my main focus right now is to hopefully get uh, uh, Eris, uh big and... Yeah, big five star weapon. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Alright, what floor are we at now? I'm over here like ranting and blabbing and blah 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 blah. We're at 13. Not bad. Let's see. Floor number 14. What is the power level for 20? 45. Oh, I, oh, wow. Okay. What's the power level for 30? Oh, 110. Oh, my God. That's a big difference uh, between 10 floors. Good Lord. I have a lot to grind for. Uh, I need to double my power level to be able to complete the next 10 floors. So uh, that's going to be a while until I unlock everything. <laughs> well, not unlock, but be, be able to uh, get to that uh, power level. That's crazy. So it's going to be a very good minute until anybody gets to the final floor. Unless they, like, wear all out in this game and, like, literally max out everything. But we'll, we'll, I mean, hey. Eventually, I'll get there. Eventually. <laughs> oh, so the eyeball has armor. But we got physical defense down. Oh, but he's dead. Oh, it's, is it counter-attacking? Oh, it is counter-attacking. Okay. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Eventually, I was going to push through. Eventually. Uh, I will show my build for these three characters towards the end of the video. In case anybody is curious as to where I stand now. This will also be good for me uh, because I can use this as a reference later down the line. Alright, we're 415. Physical attack up buff at the wave at wave start. Okay. And we get more memories. I need more memories. I also need to get to level 35 for uh, for these three so I can continue with the um uh what do you call it? The Shoot, I forgot the thing already. But it's uh, it's in the growth uh, section of this game. Where you unlock our stat nodes, you level up their uh, limit breaks, so on and so forth. But I will show everything that I have currently equipped on these guys here in just a bit. Oh, they got clapped fast. I also need to work on materia. Uh, that is something I definitely need to do. The only materia that is uh, higher than... Anything else is a uh, cure. Win potency up. Oh, that's not good. Defense, defense, defense. We should be okay. Yeah, 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 we're fine. Barrett has a lot of HP, man. Almost 3k. Magic attack down, physical defense down. Hot edge on cloud. I really like. Because it does inflict a physical defense down on them. I was just about to limit break. Let me limit break. Sheesh. Nice. 3.1. Followed by... Something. <laughs> Nice, 8.2. B 
Beautiful one, beautiful. Alright, five more floors to go. Ooh, a good amount of memory too. Fantastic. I need those. Alright. Oh, there's another one. Get an exchange ticket exchangeable for a character memory of your choice. And a guaranteed Barrett exclusive weapon draw ticket. It only costs 2,100 of your red crystals. Like I said, after a while, <laughs> it kind of gets annoying. <laughs> Hopefully, I do not get copyrighted by this because uh, my live stream that I did for Crisis, for Crisis Core, jeez, um, for Ever Crisis, uh, yeah, it got dinged, which no surprise is Final Fantasy VII. Uh, most, uh, or, or all of the uh, OST for FF7 gets hit with a claim as always. But what surprised me the most is that. The stream was not eligible for ads whatsoever. Which was really weird. I had to get that reviewed and YouTube was just like, yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> Have your ads. <laughs> but I thought it was very strange that I got hit with that. Alright, four more. We are doing fantastic. <clears throat> Alright, ability C. I didn't get to read it. We got buffs, that's all I can say. <laughs> oh no, now you get smacked. Hmm. Oh, they got a defense buff, but guess what? I just inflicted a physical defense down. And we're still doing damage to you. Weakness. I need Aerith. I need fairy tales, fairy stars, whatever the heck you you call that. I was gonna use limit break, but I was about to die anyways. Beautiful! Three more left. We're getting a lot of goodies. Oh, oops. <laughs> I like how I like how my uh, power level fluctuates depending on what uh what fight I'm doing. This is why I need to focus on leveling up materia. Because that all that material not only provides you with uh, elemental abilities, uh, defense abilities, being able to heal, etc., etc., but uh, a lot of this material also has uh, some stat increases. <clears throat> so that's why I need to focus on doing that. That'll pr that actually I'm not a thousand percent sure if that helps with. Uh, I, I think it's I think it does uh, when it comes to increasing power level. Big birdies. Yo, fight with Comdor. <laughs> this getting his butt whoop. Oh, you're definitely weak to fire. That's not obvious. <laughs> and dead. I just remembered that uh, in the closed beta for Ever Crisis, uh, a lot of these. Uh, a lot of these enemies that we are fighting uh, are actually not the same. 
I remember that during the closed beta, we actually fought summons. Uh, so we did fight Ifrit. I think we fought Shiva, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. But I know on the uh, during the closed beta, we were able to fight Ifrit. I never had a chance to just because I was I was very busy at the time. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I, I, there, there there was some ch there, there was some changes that was done for this battle tower. Are <laughs> oh, you guys getting destroyed for obvious reasons? Oh, we got a soldier in here too? Hmm, soldier got... Ooh, soldier got thumbed out. Uh-uh. See, right here, because I did say I was going to auto everything, right here I would actually manual to be uh, the soldier before I went uh, off to the other one. Also, is it just me? I guess this is another little con for me, but I wish I had a skip, uh, uh, what you call it, a skip feature for this. This would actually save a little, uh, a little, a little bit of time. I know this doesn't take long, but a little bit of time saving would be nice. Alright, cool deal. Two oh never mind. Last one boys. Last one. Let's go. Doing a little bit better now. Hopefully. See how this one goes. I had to change up a couple things. Uh, just because uh, Birdie... Just... Birdie's just... <laughs> it, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely uh, taking a lot of damage. It's not taking a lot of damage, but it's... Uh, we're taking a lot of damage. Actually doing a little bit better. Oh, nice. Alright. So that Elemental is down. But no, I had uh, given... Uh, I had leveled up some Materia. Uh, Tifa had Fire Material. Oh, uh, Materia. Materia. So I leveled that up a little bit. Uh, Barret. I gave him some material as well to try to help out. And then, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Tifa also has a magic barrier equipped. Or should have it equipped. Ooh, this is not gonna be pretty. Oof, okay, we're still good. Heal, damn you, heal! There we go. Barret, heal yourself. Oh, Barret might go down. <laughs> We're still good. This is why Air Force would be really helpful right now. Might might be time to really focus on uh, building Air. <clears throat> Alright, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, heal up Tifa, thank you. Okay, we're, we're, we're good. We're, we're good uh, healing-wise. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, 
Oh yeah, definitely after floor 20, it seems like uh, now I'm gonna have to manually make sure that I equip the right thing, especially for, for big boss fights. And uh, maybe even manually, like, take take it off auto. But now we're good. Quit healing and just kill it. Uh, auto, auto, um, uh, what's the word? Auto definitely uh, can come in handy for, like, grinding purposes and whatnot. Uh, and sometimes auto actually is able to win some pretty hard fights. Well, in quotations, hard. Uh, but, uh, yeah, sometimes you, you actually gotta step in yourself. You gotta strategize. <laughs> Alright, let's show off the team that I just used for this one. For those who are curious. And then we'll go ahead and end the video off. Here comes another. Oh my god. Please purchase. Alright, let's go back here. We'll show off what... You got Barrett at the moment. This is the setup that I currently have. So as you can see, I leveled up the fire material to help out. Uh, his uh, five-star weapon currently solid bazooka. Physical, 320% physical, not elemental damage. Also, magic attack is decreased onto the enemy. So that that uh, helped out a little bit. Uh, his other one, uh, heavy hauser, whatever. 600% uh, physical non-elemental damage so i don't know why oh that's why because one is 60 and the other one's 50 derp <laughs> i made the boo-boo mistake when i was leveling up barrett earlier <laughs> uh cloud we currently have um his uh, outfit from the uh, from the stamps from the banner we do have uh murasame at uh, uh what do you call it one red star uh we do have his hard edge which i really like uh, like i mentioned earlier and flex physical defense uh, down onto the enemy, so that is uh, pretty convenient to have, especially if you're like focusing on the um, the uh, f um, physical damage. Uh, and then uh, materia, we have a rain, a ruin blow, not rain blow, uh, arrow blow, and uh, we also have the cura. Uh, and then finally with Tifa, and I guess I should show stats. I'll show stats in a bit. Uh, I did uh, get use the gear exchange ticket, and I picked up her outfit. Uh, this is Tiger Fangs, 340% physical, not elemental damage, and also magic attack is decreased. Uh, the other one, which is Crystal Gloves, uh, this is just deals 270% uh, max lightning damage. And then Materia, as you can see here, we have uh, Mana Ward, which was uh, magic defense is increased, which I don't know, for some reason it didn't get used, I don't, I don't know what happened. Um, uh, fire, or it might have got, it might have been used. I, I just didn't notice. Uh, fire, and then the other one is a uh, cure. And then a uh, stat wise, these are my current stats at the moment for each of the characters. So, uh, but yeah, so that was uh, the last four was definitely an interesting run. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Hopefully, uh, you didn't mind me rambling on about whatever it is I was talking about. Oh, everything that I was talking about. Hold up. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Um, as soon as I am in a better position, power level wise, uh, I will go ahead and tackle the next ten floors. But I have a I have a long ways to go. I have like half the power level of what I need at the moment to be able to knock this out. So, uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I'll catch you guys in the next one.